so let's quickly talk about some of the important developments in down to earth this month so here the first one was the household water supply there have been various efforts done by women self help group and one of such has been mentioned here uh, from chindwara district and people have come together for connections of the household water uh, household water supply and this has been a remarkable development and results have been brought uh, significant uh, lifestyle improvements have been brought in the region now this can be cited as one of your case studies in your answer writing the next is a very important case study where we say the hindu kush have been melting and at one point it would happen such that that after 2100 there would be a loss in the volume of the glacier outflow which is coming that is due to the global warming and climate change now there are three important contributors of water in indian river in indian subcontinent ganga brahmaputra and indus and both all three of them would be affected by the glacial melting now since the glacial runoffs are increasing at a present time what would happen eventually is there would be decrease in the runoff and this change from increasing to decreasing runoff is known as the point peak water now as this point peak water is reached it would be somewhere around 2050 and after that the availability of water would start to decline by 2100 and that would have a significant impact on to the ecosystem so that's have been cited and this would lead to environmental degradation loss of species extinction of certain species in certain cases so if the glacial melting is uh, happening at the present rate and the emissions are controlled then there would be a decline in the rate at which the glaciers melt however if the emissions continue to rise over the century there would be a rapid decline as you can see in the glacial runoff and this would have a significant impact now africa has been always called as energy poor now there have been energy poverty and this has brought in impacts on education health livelihood and economy of the region now there have been a higher prices for electricity unreliable supply loss of electricity um, theft of electricity as some of the reasons so renewable energy in africa needs to be invented with green energy solar and wind power could be one of the potential sources so 60% of the hydro power is concentrated in the sub saharan area and then we have other resources in the other areas which include the cng the compressed biogas and so on so this would actually increase the per capita availability of electricity in the region also fund climate action has been working on climate financing where there have been initiatives where the developed nations would be paying for the uh, the electricity uh in the regions and that would be one of the ways to uh focus on to the uh, losses that have been done to the environment in the region so uh, the ndcs actually have two targets conditional and unconditional unconditional targets refer to the climate actions that countries would achieve based on their domestic capabilities however conditional ones are because of certain uh, specifications and international support that they can attain now as a result the cost of capital uh, makes investments in renewable energy actually unaffordable so developing nations are seeing the way forward from the developed nations to have investments and then only they can have that cost of capital to be met and finally the development in that areas can happen the next is uh, india's software capital has which is bangalore has seen some of the worst floods and that is mainly due to heaps of garbage improper sanitation and sewerage facilities encroachment that there have been drains which are storm watering creating uh, situations of flooding but this is not just the condition of bangalore the same has been replicated in most of the urban cities so a proper infrastructural development a proper sewerage planning must be planned and the existing ones need to be revamped even before the monsoon season starts so what would be the idea where ward level solid waste management collection could be done how the collection could be uh, brought into account the process of recycling and disposal should be streamlined the next is 
AI and the patent. So London based Stability AI is a startup which has created an open source AI art generator, Stable Diffusion. Now they have been accused of photo uh, company actually copying more than 12 million of their images from the database without any permission. There have been uh, various leading generative AI firms as well and this firm has faced one of the uh, is facing one of the uh, lawsuit actions so that's again an important topic the next is a very important topic silver coxcomb now silver coxcomb is highly nutritious a leafy vegetable it is uh, mainly found in the region of karnataka Char uh, jamraj nagar known as ana supu solinga tribe is highly dependent on it uh, there are various other uh, plants which are grown in this region which is mainly spinach beetroot and kiona spinach actually has very higher oxalic level content and therefore is not suited on the other hand silver cook's comb is considered better it reduces uh, stomach burn because of indigestion it also uh, lowers the heat level within the body it is uh, prepared with the sambar uh, and there are various other uh, benefits so it is less harmful for the kidneys because it does not have that high levels of oxalic acid as spinach it has high levels of vitamin e iron and calcium and also beta carotene and folic acid which are required uh, then this has phytic acid which is relatively low and therefore it is considered as a good diet it is also used for treating eye diseases ulcers for bloodshot eyes and cataract issues and this has originated in tropical africa has been seen in other parts of latin america as well now uh, the regions of uh, ludhiana Punjab have been witnessing a high level of cancer and cognitive impairment diseases and that is because of the toxic amount of water. The teeth damages have been seen in children due to heavy metals and fluorides. There have been samples which have been uh, merging with Buddha Nala and this is contaminated as the samples have been corrected. So a critically polluted Nala as it was declared there have been higher traces of uh, TDS much higher than the permissible limits with salts like manganese, chloride, bicarbonates and sulfates which can harm heart and kidney. It transfers all its pollutants to the Satlaj river and this can be clearly visible. So it is not just here the cases, the same has been reported in Fazilka, it has been reported in the regions of Muktasar, it has been reported in the regions of Firozpur, where a higher amount of cancer diseases, skin, kidney and heart problems uh, have been issued or have been taken into account because of it. The next is the global parliamentary pact for transforming the agri-food systems uh, and bringing this into account. There have been uh, various things which have been brought, uh, mainly women empowerment, school feeding programs, food labeling, family farming as some of those to cite. The next is how monsoon has been advancing. So this time there has been a delay of the monsoon but still the origin and the spread has been important. Recently the cyclone Bipperjoy uh, actually was supposed to strike as one of the most severe cyclones and the strongest cyclone systems in its category but as it came closer it actually weakened a little. It was not as as expected but the trajectory mode also changed in the last moment. There have been uh, developments on Bipper Joy which we have covered in a separately uh, class. Now how cyclones and cyclone uh, related disaster resilient infrastructure must be developed is another important report uh, and development that you must be familiar with. IPCC in its synthesis report has talked about uh, how intensification of tropical and extratropical cyclones are taking place because of the global warming. The next is subsidence of land. Because of a higher extraction of groundwater, the land is subsiding. This has been seen in Kapashera in the regions of New Delhi, uh, very close to Indira Gandhi National Airport. There have been cracks which are developed in the parking society. The residences are threatening that the ground level would decline significantly. The bore levels have go the bore well levels have go gone down, and as a result, the subsidence has been a vulnerable issue. We have seen a drop in the groundwater in this belt specifically in the regions of Meghalaya also. So, and this would significantly affect the subsidence. So if we talk about the Kapashera, there has been
in a higher amount of subsidence of around 10 to 17 centimeters per year which is significantly higher than the other areas which have been taken in the case study so again a very important part of answer writing groundwater studies and its impact on subsidence similarly there was a topic on groundwater and its impact on the tilting of the axis of the earth so again a very important discussion there as well the next is the global crisis because of excessive pumping not only the water levels are growing down land is subsiding there has been permanent subsidence which have been called in most of the mega cities not just in india bangkok and thailand ho chi minh and vietnam the subsidence rate is two to five centimeters there have been 77 percent of the subsidence which are caused because of human induced regions and 60 percent because of groundwater extraction now this leads to uh, cracks in the buildings damage to the infrastructure we need to change the patterns uh, and there is higher risk of flooding in the associated area so how can we uh, actually reverse the process of this subsidence is through recharging the ground level and human intervention could be the only way out in this point now climate change and negotiations have been regularly done like-minded developing countries like bolivia have talked about a separate agenda on finance with the paris agenda talking about equity common but differentiated responsibility and respective capabilities of each nation which should be addressed now some other important highlights talk about the fixed course combination of drug use uh, the 14 drug use the first climate action plan released by chennai to make it carbon neutral by 2050 the jagdalpur bird century where there was um, the exotic birds which could not survive in the climate the dam breakout in Ukraine because of the Russia's invent and then the shortage of coal in Bangladesh which is shutting the power plants uh, and this is mainly bringing the coal from Indonesia there has been an import deficit and this has leading led to stopping of the power plant the Pyra power plant in Bangladesh very important concept that you must take into account because this is not just one of these there could be future uh, more in the future so those were some of the key highlights the handouts would be available on exam days don't miss we do cover yojana kurukshetra and down to earth on a monthly basis stay tuned for further updates